Hi, welcome to Danny's YouTube, Bee Beekeeping Basics. So today, we got the nuke box yesterday, so today we're going to be opening up the nuke box and hopefully all's good and well. We'll be putting them into their new home, the hive. So, um, see how this goes. We'll be looking, see if we can find the queen and making sure there's no, no swarm cells. So yeah, let's go in. So we've got the smoke on the go. Let me just turn this around. So the smoker's on the go ready. Tools and hive. Okay, so that's things first. Just introduce a little bit of smoke in the entrance. Just let them know that we're we're entering. Release this lid. Like so. As you can see, there's lots of bees on the top there, making sure the queen isn't on the lid. Because you never, ever know. As far as I can see, she isn't. And you have a lot of, a lot of bees in there. Look. So I can't actually see the queen there, which is for me a good sign because I need to put this lid down. So we'll put that on the top of here, like so. And they will just fly around if they need to. Still checking that there's no queen there. And we're going to give these a little across the top of the hive. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is what I should have done, I've got my tools out first and foremost, but there you go. So we're going to use the hooky just to relieve these prior to going in because they're going to be a little bit sticky aren't they so yeah very sticky try not to upset them in any way or form Do this to them all because, as you can see, it is stuck. We do this on as many as we can, so all relatively stuck together. Remember guys, this has been a winter nuke, so should be everything that we need to see on these. Just prise them all apart, and we've got to be very, very gentle on what we're doing right now, because let's say we've got to um, make sure that we don't damage the queen by any any chance so probably would have been a better idea if I had actually had not done it on top of this hive and we've done it on top of the other because we need to move these obviously into their 
then move home. Which is here. So, what we have to do, see if we can leave one of these out. I'm a bit concerned because the weather's not been great today, but I do need to get these out of here. So, very, very gently. What I'll do is I'll try for this one, very slowly. We'll be lifting this out. Now what I will do is I'll move this straight over to this hive. Sorry about that. For camera skills are not the best right now. But it won't get better. It won't get better. So Plenty of broad. They're looking amazing. Very calm bees. We tip up and we turn. Now I don't know whether this queen is actually going to have a mark on her. As it stands. I can't overly see her standing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that in there for the time being. Remembering in which order that I've got these out of. So what we're going to do again I'm going to lift this out and straight over the hive making sure we don't drop any and again we're looking for the queen it's an amazing sight look so I can see a few drones in there I still can't quite see the queen We do a slight blow on there. What that does is that just slightly moves them out. Also looking for eggs. If we can see eggs, we know the queen's going to be in there. And I'm pretty sure we can. Again, what we're going to do, I'm not going to waste too much time because I'm worried about the weather. So. I'm just going to fit this in and I'm going to try and do them in the same order that they came out of. Very windy today as well. Again, lifting it over. Having a little check around. Looking for eggs. Mostly looking for the queen. She's always going to be hard to find. There's not two ways about that. Still can't find her. I was, uh, don't, she, I was told she had a dot on her, red dot, but 
<coughs> they also clean the dot off, I've been told. If they don't look with a dot on it, they will clean her off. So. And also, we're looking for queen cells. Any kind of, you know, threat of them swarm cells. So, we're keeping it over the hive all the time. We don't want to drop that queen. Such beautiful bees, look. Absolutely beautiful, stunning. Okay, so this is not in that frame, so I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to put this one back. Slow movements all the time. And over and again, I'll have a look around. Checking the bottom, check the top, we're up and we spin. And again, we'll have a check around. And she could be literally anywhere, and this is the beauty. Beekeeping, you know. But if you can't find her the first time, like, like a psalm, a bit threatened with the weather, so I'm not going to take too much time. You know, to me, they're looking very good. I'm sure as damn it. I can see eggs. Well, you know, she might well be on the very last frame that we introduce. You can't get your drones mixed up, oh, I think. I may have seen one, is that a drone? I'm looking at one, and she's got her tail in, which is a telltale sign she is laying. She's not got a dot on her though. If I can, if I'm sure it's her, she comes out. Mm, not so sure. I think that may well be a drone. They say it's hard and they have no dot on them. But the clean is they're going head first and we'll see a queen she'll put her tail down in and she's laying eggs now. Again, I'm not so sure. It does look like her. It really does look like her. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it where you're gonna see at this moment in time, but I'm just going to try and get myself confident that it is her before I put this one back in. But I seem to have lost her again anyway, so... Yeah. Well, I can see eggs in there. So I'm going to be confident enough 
I'm not bother these bees any more than I have to. And I hope that that was the queen that I saw. From a threat of possible rain. And looking really good at the moment. Oof. No sign of queen cells. Lots and lots of bees, like, lots of bees. Oh, there she is. Now there she is with the red dot on her head. Oh, I'm hoping, without going too long, that you can just pick that up. Beautiful queen there. Yep. Clear red dot on her head. And that, for me, is good enough. So... What I'm going to do is just try and show you one more time. So what we do is, again, little blow that moves them away, just keeping a check on. So, just putting that together. I've got the Verona board in there, which I need to take out. I've got to remember to do that. And again, I'm not going to waste too much time. Now I've seen the Queen. Plenty of drones in there. Very healthy lot of bees. What we're going to do is we're going to put that in there like so. And I have an extra frame in my toolbox. Very gently just putting them together. And that, they're that calm, I don't even need to smoke them. Such beautiful bees. We do have a bit of space in this, so what we're going to do is we'll put the room at one end. And we will, if we can. board taking that out I've got the the um, sugar syrup just cooling down inside into the hive little little bang hopefully we'll knock them off I've got the brush so what I'll do is give them a little sweep off it's really aggravating them right now I sort of think but Come on, off you come. Well, we don't have to worry too much because they're all going to fly in. Even if I left these out, they would find their way in. We will. Any ones that look surviving or whatever. 
And what I'll do is I'll just leave this and they will find their way back in. I'll leave that on the top of there. I'm not going to aggravate them too much. I've got one that's stuck in. Let's get yourself proper stuck in there. <coughs> Just want to get him off this brush. He's got himself proper stuck in there. Okay. So, I have a couple in there. Nothing to worry about too much. I like say they'll find their way in. And what we're going to do is. I'm going to use this for the Queen Excluder because this is where I'm going to introduce the sugar syrup. And um, what I needed to do, well, it hasn't cooled down, so again, I'm going to have to brush these off of here because. We come out back out with the sugar syrup, place it on there. Go in and double check that it's cooled down enough, and then we can put that in. And then we can uh, lock it all up. <laughs> 